Welcome out to another one of our Athlete of the Week interviews. Chance to talk with Addison McArthur from the LCCC volleyball team. And Addie, first of all, congratulations. Thank A you. freshman already making some waves here. How's it feel? <laughs> um, I mean, it feels pretty pretty good. Like to come out of the gate, um, I had a pretty rough season, like or like just the start of the season, um, just like hitting percentage wise. But I think like after adjusting to college play, it was probably what it was. Like just, I mean, it's a faster game, um, and definitely coming coming back from that I think it was pretty good and of course like having the team behind me has been really awesome like been super amazing to play with new girls and just have new faces and like new teammates is always fun so talk a little bit about the offensive abilities that you've been kind of starting to showcase when has it started clicking for you because you had 73 kills this last week in five matches a 19 kill match a 17 kill match we only made one error <laughs> when did it click because it obviously something has kind of flipped on for you uh yeah so I think I kind of started making a lot of errors, like like I was saying in the beginning of the season. And so me and Zach talked about just cutting down my errors and um, kind of making sure like that I was keeping the ball like in play for the team, whether it be like it's not going to be a kill every single time. And coming from high school, it was and club especially, kind of basically the harder you hit, you're going to get a kill. <laughs> and so like, coming from that, having to adjust, I think that it was definitely just mentality wise, like trying to make less errors, but also like consciously trying to like still be aggressive, so. You aren't just a player on the offensive side either though. You play all the way around for the most yeah. part and you got a really good example to kind of shadow for that with Demi. Right. How much has that helped and, and how much have you guys played off each other to help each other out where you don't have to take that total role yeah. of being takeover? Um, I think it's awesome to have her like across the court from me. It's always nice to have like an outside that you can rely on. Like, I mean, obviously they're your same position. Like, they're gonna be your buddy on the court where you can like tell them what's open. Like, there's somebody that you can turn to, and especially like her, yeah, like kind of um, playing like in her shadow. Like, especially from last year too. Um, like, she had a great season last year, and I think that is something definitely to um, like try to live up to. And like, I don't know, uh, just kind of make the team proud in a sense like that we do need like strong outsides and just playing make sure making sure that we're all playing for the team and which, both playing together so which do you feel better about when you're out there on the court which gets you more amped up a big kill down the line or cross court or getting a big pass where it's a hard hit right at you and you get that nice dig um gosh it depends <laughs> it depends a nice dig feels pretty good but also like connecting with the setters and being able to like execute the ball and like especially if it's a crazy kill or like something crazy happens and um, everybody goes insane for it like that probably I would say that is a little bit above like getting a good dig because like once you get the good dig like everybody's cheering but the play still goes on right like if you're gonna get the kill you're gonna end the play and it's gonna be it's gonna be good <laughs> you guys have ended a lot of plays so far on the positive side of things a 10 match winning streak yeah you bust into the rankings first time that L triple C has been ranked I don't know if Zach told you guys this but since oh, 2019 yeah. so it's been a little while since the team's been there how do you keep the momentum going especially with a tough stretch of schedule coming up um I think just being able to like continue playing as a team and like not letting the pressure of being ranked like change anything like continue to stay aggressive and like for us to continue to strive for like higher, I guess, higher, like beating better opponents and stuff like that, like never being satisfied with just, oh, you know, we beat number 19 Barton and now we are in front of them. But there's so many other people that are coming up that we're gonna be able to play that can also increase our ranking. And of course we're not playing for the ranking, but like it is pretty cool to see. Like number 19, our hard work paid off. <laughs> Two more questions for you. The region also has four teams that are receiving votes or in the rankings right now. Does that help when you know the region's going to be stiff competition and there's no let up and you have to keep playing right. hard every match? Um, I think definitely it's cool that four, like, four of the teams in our region are ranked because obviously not every conference is going to be like that. And so having that competitive, like, com like the competition within our conference is going to help all of us get better, which is going to increase the play like even more. And so I think being able to play against those great teams is gonna make us even better um, and make us, uh, we're gonna have to come together like in those tough matches and some of them are gonna be like five setters and it's gonna be long games and just being able to like lean on each other and come out of those wins and losses together, so. Last question for you, you are a student athlete and I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't <laughs> ask. Now that classes have started, adds an extra layer of, of preparation that you guys right. have to go through every week. How has that been treating you and how have you been adjusting to the college kind of 
kind of way of life when it comes to a student athlete? Yeah, um, I think during preseason, um, it was kind of just all volleyball, right? You know, we'd go to volleyball, maybe we'd have a lift and then go to volleyball again. And then basically it's just eat, sleep, volleyball. And now just having one practice and all my classes and stuff, um, we do do our eight hour study halls a week, especially, or as freshmen, we have to have the eight hours um, to make sure we're staying up on our classes. And I haven't found it that difficult. Um, I think time management is definitely really important, but knowing that you have those designated times to go to that study hall and to get your stuff done definitely takes a lot of stress off of like, oh no, I didn't get this done because we had practice and all of these things, like we we're always gonna have that time and it's really nice, I guess, to just know that we're gonna be able to keep up on our schoolwork too. And it's good motivation, like if we don't keep up on our schoolwork, we can't play, so. Well, you guys have high expectations on the volleyball court and in the classroom coming off of being the top GPA team from last year and coming off of Coach of the Year and big runs in the region tournament. So good to see you guys keeping up with that. Good to yeah. see you having success early Thanks. on, Addie. And we'll look forward to talking to you, hopefully again, as another Athlete of the Week. <laughs> Thank you.